third meeting of the Finance and Ops Committee, 18th March 2024, to order. Um, yeah, here we go. Um, fire safety evacuation procedure recording protocol. The fire escape can be found at both ends of the holiday chamber. There's no fire alarm to schedule. On the sounding of an alarm, all personnel are to evacuate into the holiday car park. The council members of the public and the press may film, record, photograph for live and or subsequent broadcasts at this meeting only when the public and the press are not lawfully excluded. Any member of the public who attends a meeting and objects to being filmed and recorded photographs should advise the clerk in advance who will instruct that they are not to be included in the film recording photography. Okay. Welcome everybody. Um, we don't seem to be any members of the public. So we can move on from that. Apologies for absence. Two noted. Cheryl and Charlotte. Yeah, Cheryl and Charlotte. I think they're the doctors' etiquette. Yes. I think they're the cheers, aren't they? <laughs> Cheryl and Charlotte. Yeah. Um, so apologies for absence. Uh, declarations of interest and dispensations. Members to declare any interests which are not currently entered in the members' register of interest and he, she, has not notified his, the monitoring officer of it. Um, to receive written request for dispensation for disclosable pecuniary interests and to grant any request for dispensation as appropriate. Any? No. We want to item four, confirm previous minutes. Proposal to confirm the previous minutes in the Finance and Finance Committee meeting on the 19th of February 2024. Anybody got any comments on the minutes? No. I just have one question on the town hall valuation number 14. Is that? Do I put a question? Bank reconciliation on the town hall claim number 14, did you say? No, there's a valuation of 73,000 uh, pounds. It says, on it says, the top. Yeah, town hall valuation number 14. Yes. For seventy three thousand pounds. Just want to understand what that the is. The A A N it's a bit confusing, even we get confused. A N G sends in I can only really call it like a draft invoice and it's called evaluation. Um which which is which will be that figure. And we get the valuation figure in and then about a week later we actually get the normal invoice and nine out of ten times it matches that figure, but we haven't actually paid it. But it's it's part of the what's the system? Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I've never done a building contract before, but that's no, no, me really neither. So, uh, <laughs> so we, okay. get a we get a brand new agent. We get an interim certificate and, and all sorts from all the different like stakeholders. So we compile those all, and then once they've all got come together, then that's when we get our next claim. So the month it has a number claim number, and then yeah. Baines give us the money as it is at the moment, and then we pay off the. It's, it's quite a complicated process. Yeah. Well, as long as you can understand it, <laughs> yes. that's fine. I don't need to. So, uh, other than that, uh, no questions at all. So. Can I have one question, which I'm going to put forward for email, but I think it's, it's not a large amount, but I think it's worth following up, is uh, about this uh, CCTV bill to some sense. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I think it's worth checking whether it's actually still valid or whether it's actually paying for a SIM card which is in a bin or not used. It's still working. Joe sent out an email to this week about all the different CCTV that we yes. have around the town and what belongs to the town trust. And it's not It's not on the... Yeah. Through Dave's phone. Yeah, but the invoice isn't on here. Well, it's on the town board and mobile and CCTV. So oh, okay. But as I said, I haven't spoken to the people who did the CCTV. They said it should all be running off broadband now. 
and that was a temporary solution. So, and looking around, I couldn't see any cameras that indicated they would be powered or you know use a, a, a data card. So it just thought that perhaps it's well, worth checking. I haven't. I am scheduling a meeting this week right. to talk about CCTV. Right. Um, so I'll get to the bottom of why why are we using a SIM card and if it could be done differently. Yeah, and if that camera's actually even still there, because I don't know if it is. It's just worth checking. Good. That's the best thing. Thank you. Is my um, lane card over there? My oh, oh, yes. Sorry, yes. Sorry. 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 Right. Thank you. So now we're on to uh, item six proposal to move money from the earmark reserves and create new ones. <coughs> proposal to move money from the current earmark reserves into general reserves and create new ones. Yes. Um, because we're coming up to a new year, I've got to do quite a lot of jiggling, well, I've got jiggling around, but putting things in the right place because when there's been five people using realtors. Some things have done wrong, I've done a couple of mistakes, and we just have to correct them. So the ER, the EMRs that you have listed, these are, you should actually do them every year. These are actually from two years ago. Um, and you actually don't have the money for them. The money actually physically isn't there. So what I am suggesting, the seal ones you have to keep, is that we delete them all, uh, create two for the public works loan because we're starting to pull the money down, and one for the seal that we've received this financial year. Clear it all down because the end of year is in two or three weeks. Then when I have done at the end of year and finalised the figures and, and and actually, what you have and worked out what you actually have on the 1st of April 2024, I will then bring work it out and then bring it back. There will be some spare with some ideas for some new EMR reserves. Means makes perfect sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It yeah. So it tidies up the account. Tidies, yes. yeah, tidies it all yeah. Right. yeah. Good. That's okay. fine. Agree. Okay. Okay. Agree. 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 Thank you. It does because because if I have to, if I have to move any money from EMRs, I have to bring I have to bring it to council. Mm -hmm. So this this so this will now might be a regular occurrence, but we'll see once we get started. Yeah. So proposed by Linda. Yeah, I don't. I just put the job. Yeah. 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 Item. All approved. Yeah, yeah. All approved. Uh, item seven policies to review the following policies and recommend them to the full council approval and adoption. The dispensation policy, which is attached. This was brought last month. Um, and chair wanted. Sorry, I've just said it wrong. Um, wanted some changes. So the bits in blue is the only bits I've changed. Right. The rest of it is the same you had last month. And this, this is actually what's written in your standing orders. So this is this will be adopted by the council yeah. in two weeks. Yes. So the council will have a chance to yeah. yes. discuss yeah. or propose any amendments. Yeah. But this is including the amendment that was proposed last time. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah. It's a complex process, isn't it? Yeah. So that's what we'll agree that. Yeah. Yeah, so there's as much as we do. So we know, we really yeah, just know the changes yeah. as requested. Um, so, uh, so, item 8, exclusion of the press and public, is that right? Yeah, that's yeah. Cool. <coughs> So, proposal the section on paragraph 2 of the public body's submissions meetings act, and to 16, the press and public be excluded from a meeting for the following items of business because publicity would be prejudicial to the public interest by reason of the confidential nature of the business to be transacted. So it's the camera's off. Is the camera's off? Off. 